What is up YouTube? We are back with another video. We have another debut. We debuted the 88 overall Josh Bell last video. I'm gonna leave that link in the description below. But the one we have here today is a more popular option. A lot of people have this card in their lineup. I know he is a very, very good card. It's this 89 overall Juan Soto, the Washington Nationals team affinity face of the franchise card. Let's go over this card here real quick. He's got 90, 88 contact versus right and left, 100 power versus right, 77 versus left. He's got 70 vision. So that should is definitely going to be playable on All-Star. We'll see on Hall of Fame once we hopefully get there. He's got 116 discipline, 81 clutch, 92 arrow ability. Left field is his primary position. He can play center field and right field. This is the issue with this card. You're not putting this card out there to play defense. You're definitely putting him out there to swing the bat. So he does have 70 fielding, 71 arm, 56 accuracy, and 68 rear actually he does have 63 speed we'll see he will be playing left field for us we are going to be taking out ken griffey jr and we're going to put granderson in center field so this outfield is actually it's not the fastest it's not the greatest and we'll see what happens but this matt olsen here he does have 95 fielding but his primary position is first base so putting him in right field i feel like it's gonna it's gonna knock him down a little bit so he's definitely not the fastest either with 36 speed so this outfield might be an issue infield actually defense is not very good either overall this is not a very good defensive team but it's a very good hitting team so that's what we're kind of going for here we're not worried about the defense early on especially since we're playing an all-star Mondesi Olsen created player Granderson Josh Bell Juan Soto is going to be in the six hole Glaber Torres and Yohan Moncada we are going to be pitching Corey Kluber today the bench is Frank Thomas, Ryan Sandberg, Eddie Matthews, Byron Buxton, and Carlos Santana. We do have full health on this Corey Kluber. Blake's now we could throw in there, but we're going to go with Corey Kluber. This is one of the cards I wanted to get. It took a little bit longer because the collections is 10 points towards his card, and the Washington Nationals collections is actually pretty expensive, and I have not finished it yet. So 89 overall face of the franchise, Juan Soto. This is going to be his debut. Let's get it going. <laughs> All right, we're going against the Las Vegas Gamblers. What does that say? Uncle Dunkle is his name. He's got Lake Snell on the mound. He's got his great player leadoff, followed by Christian Yelich, Glaber, Yohan. So he's got a pretty good squad here against uh, Blake Snell. I hate facing Blake Snell, especially since he is a lefty. Luckily, we're in a minor league stadium, but picking up this Blake Snell can be kind of tricky because his release point, but luckily we have a backdrop that's pretty dark. And we did edit the away jersey, so this is what they look like right here. Good pitch, good slider. Fastball looks like a slider, slider looks like a changeup. And we're gonna chop it to third base. All right, it's a very, very quick inning. We saw some pitches, 13 pitches in that first inning. That's perfectly fine. We do have Corey Kluber on the mound. All right, this is his creative player, 83-74. All right, let's get this cutter in. Good spot, that's a good sp Yikes. All right, that's a good pitch. That's a really good location. He did put a good swing on it. Nothing we can do there. Let's see what the... I don't even want to look at the swing contact. Just late. Okay, that's not good. Oh, man. All right, back-to-back -back base hits. Good pitch. Strike three. That's a big strike out there. Now we're looking for this ground ball double play. I hate facing you on Mankata. All right, we're going to get the fly out here. This is very good. Come on, you got to make this catch here. All right, Juan Soto, first action in the outfield. Routine fly ball makes the catch. We do have two dead. We got Rizzo up. I've actually never faced this Rizzo, I don't think. 90 contact, 82 power, only 21 speed. All right, he puts a good swing on it. Looks like he's going to... He's going to get a run here. RBI. RBI single for Anthony Rizzo. He put a good swing on it. He's going to take an early 1-0 lead here. Wow, I thought that was going to get up the middle. Okay, well, we save a run there. Get through. Come on, get through. There we go. Curtis Granderson, base hit through that hole. All right, we're starting to pick it up a little bit. Starting to get the differences between the fastball and the changeup. All right, let's go. This is what we want. We got Josh Bell up here. Josh Bell made his debut last game. Good pitch. He froze us. He froze us with the fastball. I was not expecting that up and in. Okay, here we go with Juan Soto and his debut. We're looking. He, I heard he doesn't hit lefties very well. So we're going to see how that works out. But, all right, he just threw a fastball there. We're going to try and take off here. He's not looking. Ooh, he's looking over at first. Oh, no. Uh, I had to hit it. All right, that actually worked out to our favor. Oh, and he overruns it. Oh, you hate to see that with the bad animation. Uh, that is not good. I mean, we'll definitely take it. We do get a run out of that, but fielding is just so bad. Tied up at one. 
That ball's hit deep. That is going to be a deep fly out. We're going to get an RBI here. Well, it's going to actually be a lot closer than I thought. 2-1 ball game here. Glaber Torres gets the RBI sack fly. All right, so a lot of fastballs. A lot of fastballs. So we're at 32 pitches here in the second inning. Good pitch. Good slider. Ah, saw the hanger real good. Good, good swing. Wow. Lazy ground ball. 99 exit velocity. That did not feel like that at all. All right. Take a 2-1 lead. Got a pitch. Good take. It's a good take right there in that changeup. That's the weak contact we want right there. Come on. It's a good spot. There we go. Strike three. We get a big out there. We do have one dead. This is Blake Snell up. Wow, he put a good hack on that. That's going to be a deep fly out here for Blake Snell. All right, here's this creative player. Oh, man, I just realized he has double flaps. Try and sneak a fastball up and in. That's a good spot right there. We freeze him with a fastball. Strike three. Gets another base hit, but we limit the damage. Oh, my goodness. That didn't feel like a pop-up. Missed it. We got under it. We definitely jammed the PCI down. Felt it as soon as we did it. Very, very quick inning for him, which is what he needed. Because Snell was getting that pitch count up pretty high. No, that's not it right there. We just got super lucky. Come on, Soto, get there. Get there. Lock on. Lock on. There we go. That was not what I expected, but we'll take the out. This Glaber Torres absolutely terrifies me. Not when he's taking swings like that. This card is so good. If you guys don't have face of the franchise, Glaber Torres, you need to get him. And that is exactly why. He doesn't miss it. We miss our spot. He destroys that baseball. That is exactly why that card scares me. Very, very good power. We're going to go back down there with the changeup. That hung way too much of the zone. That is not where I wanted it. Ah, uh, back door. Did not mean to do that, but we'll take the strikeout. We got two that here. Anthony Rizzo is up. All right, I feel like he's expecting a cutter. We're going to try and sneak a fastball up right here. Yep, he was definitely late on that. So that was the right pitch call. Maybe not the right location. All right, let's back it up with a cutter in. Good spot. There we go. Strike three. We're getting the strikeouts. He did get that bomb with Glaber Torres. Good pitch, man. Yeah, I can't pick up that fastball changeup. <laughs> We're going to roll it over to second base. We are not hitting the ball very well at this Blake Snell. Only got two hits here through three and two thirds. We got to hunker down. Here we go. Josh Bell. Josh Bell might have a little bleeder. That might drop. It is going to drop. It's going to get by him. We're going to get to third base here with a, was that a single with an error? I don't know. We'll take it though. We need base runners. Now we have Juan Soto up. Juan Soto is one for one on the day. He did have that one down the line. Juan Soto hits a missile to left field. Oh, man, that is not one you want to see, but that's a good swing, though. We'll take that. 2-2 ball game. We got a pretty good ball game here. Going into the this is bottom four. Okay, come on, Grandy. Got to get there. Got to get there. Lock on. Lock on. Lock on. There we go. Granderson runs it down. Never know with outfield play, so every fly ball is an experience. Luckily, he locked on there. We got one quick out here. This is perfect because we're at 39 pitches. No, that was way too hung. Inside cutter. Nope, that's right down the middle. Come on, make the play. Come on, come on, come on. Man, Labor Torres is killing us at second base today. There it is, strike through. That's a big strike out there. All right, come on, Glaber. This is the guy we want up. That was it right there. Glaber Torres gets a base hit to left field. I feel like he's the only player on the team that I can perfectly line up a pitch. He's got so many perfect, perfect hits. That's a good start. Man, we got under that one. You never know with fly balls. You never know if it's going to be caught, overrun. All right, ball four. So runners on first and second. We got Matt Olson up here. That's a really good spot right there. Oh, man, we saw that real good. Good, good swing, too. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, wow, he's in stat second base. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Perfect pitch. Good spot there. We got one dead. Come on, got to get there. Come on, Soto. Come on, Soto. No, you hate to see that. 
Oh my gosh, there's the fielding that's the issue. These pitches are absolutely just hanging. Not where I want them. He's going to get an RBI there. There it is, strike three. We've struck, I don't know how many strikeouts we have. We have quite a few strikeouts. Two dead here. Get the ground ball. Man, errors are killing us this game. Uh, the error by Juan Soto in left field. That is not good. I don't know how that was not an error. Got under it. That ball's hit deep. So I can get out of here? No, we're going to get a double, though. All right, we're going to get a double here with Curtis Granderson. That's good. Time run is on second base. That ball looked like it was hit a lot further, but we'll take the double. Ooh, intentional walk. Okay, so he's intentionally walking Josh Bell. Obviously, it makes sense. But Juan Soto has hit him pretty hard twice. And that ball's hit deep. That's going to score one. Is that going to get out of here? That ball was not supposed to be caught. Oh my gosh, I didn't think he was going to catch that ball. Luckily, he throws it home. Gives us another opportunity, but I did not think that ball was going to be caught. Holy cow, that ball just hung. We are squaring it up with this Glaber Torres. He's going to throw one down here. Down low, I believe. That ball's hit deep. That might get out of here. There we go, Glaber Torres. Three-run blast. Luckily, we got another opportunity to get those runs across because we definitely made some errors on the base pads, but it didn't hurt. Glaber Torres comes in clutch. Come on, there we go. You never know if Mondesi at shortstop, so we're gonna get the ground ball out there. Good spot. Great spot right there. That is my best pitch all game. We got two dead. Wow, it is. It's live series Incarnacion up here. He's only hitting 222 with him. That's actually surprising he's bringing him in. But apparently he knows what he's doing because, oh man. All right, well he's gonna get a double here because Incarnacion is very slow. So he's got a runner at second base. We do have two dead here. Who's he got coming up? I think his creative player is up here. We're at 66 pitches. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. There we go. Creative player comes up clutch, gets him on his second base. He probably got tangled up. Probably not the animation he wanted, but we still have a two-run lead here heading into the top of the seventh. All right, so we kept Corey Kluber in. He's only at 70-something pitches. It is the seventh inning. We do have a two-run lead, so anything if anyone gets on base, I'll definitely yank him. Perfect. That ball's hit deep. That's not getting out of here. That's at least a triple. So we got a runner on third base. Now we got Matt Olson up here. He's scoring on this. Wow. Look at that cheap little hit. It is an RBI. Apparently his guys didn't lock onto that either. The ball hit high and deep stretch. Get back at the wall. Looks up. You can put it on the ball. Yes. Yes. Okay, we just lost the connection. I, I've seen this happen before. All right, we get the win. You never know. You never know. Lost connection. That was actually a good game. I don't know why he did that. He was actually playing very well. He was destroying that Corey Kluber. He had 10 hits. Oh, man. All right, we're, we're going to take the victory. That's fine. It's exactly what we wanted. Let's see some numbers here because he did quit out. Let's see the, the final numbers. First of all, we just got our pennant race reward. So we are going to open this real quick. All right, here we go. Here we go with the pennant race rewards. These two cards here are the new ones. This Andrew Jones and this Harmon Killebrew. We are definitely going to take Harmon Killebrew. He looks a lot more effective off the bench. All right, here it is. Juan Soto in his debut. He was one for three. He hit the ball very well all three times, so I do like his swing. Uh, I felt comfortable lefty on lefty. Again, this is on All-Star, so obviously that's going to change as we climb the ranks, but I do like his swing. Left field, obviously he did have that huge error. It ended up costing us a run, but we were able to out-hit our opponent, so that actually we made up for that. Three very good at-bats, three very good swings. Uh, Granderson had a couple hits. Creative player had that home run. Torres hit that home run. So very good overall game. Wow, Kluber had nine strikeouts. He did give up 10 hits and three earned, but nine strikeouts. So actually, good game to my opponent. I know you lost your connection. Try to ask for a friendly. Yeah, it was actually a good ball game until you did that. So Corey Kluber is 23-2 and for the squad. We are currently 15-0 and in ranked seasons, hitting 392. We got a 2.4 ERA, so we're doing pretty good to start off. Obviously, I only made it to 650, and I think I was 13 and 0. I've won my last two games, so. But defense is not very good in the outfield. Granderson's just okay. Juan Soto's okay. Matt Olson is actually technically our best outfielder currently. He does have 95 fielding, so he's probably bumped down to around a 90. 
So he got about 90 fielding. His reaction is actually pretty good. It's probably around 90 as well. It's just his speed is not there at 36. So not the greatest defensive team here, but a very, very, very good hitting team. Our best, our best defensive player is our catcher, which is our creative player. But yeah, Gleyber Torres is destroying the ball. Juan Soto felt really good with his swing. Everybody's hitting the ball. Very excited to test this squad out with the new Andrew Vaughn, which will be coming out here in the next few days. I am on all social media, Twitter, Twitch, and Instagram. Those links are in the description below along with a few tips and videos down there for Showdown, Conquest, everything. Just take a peek at that. A bunch of debut videos down there as well. It's going to be a slow grind to World Series, but we're hopefully going to get there. I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.